home. The cartel suspected of kidnapping four Americans in Mexico and killing two of them has issued an apology letter. Yeah, they're doing some public relations, so to speak. The group known as the Scorpions, which is part of the Gulf cartel, claims that they've turned in the members, the gang members or cartel members, they say are responsible for kidnapping those four Americans in a handwritten letter it says that these men lacked discipline and they acted on their own accord. Today, the bodies of Zindel Brown and Shaid Woodard are back in the United States. Those were the two murdered in that kidnapping. Uh, their two friends who survived are still recovering at a hospital in Texas. Jorge Ventura is live in Brownsville with more. Jorge. Good morning, Adrian. I'm here in Brownsville, but I'm just a few miles away from where that kidnapping attack happened in cartel-controlled Matamoros. The big question that remains this morning is if those five men that were turned over by the golf cartel to the authorities if those five men are indeed responsible for the kidnapping attack. As of right now, only one individual has been arrested connection to that kidnapping attack. That's the Mexican national 24-year-old male that was captured when the Americans discovered. Now, Adrian, I did speak with some of my Mexican sources who say they believe this is a tactic from the cartel where they turn over five low-level members over to the authorities to stop the investigation into the individuals who are indeed responsible for the, uh, for the attack. As of right now, we'll still wait for Mexican law enforcement. If that, uh, if those five individuals are confirmed for the attack, once we do have that update, we'll bring it right to you. Now, the bodies of Shahid Woodard and Zadell Brown, the two Americans that were killed in the kidnapping attack, those bodies were transferred back to the U.S. yesterday. We were live on the scene to get video of that. They were transferred from the state morgue in Matamoros back to the, to the U.S. And right now, this is all happening as U.S. officials are increasing that pressure on Mexico to, de to designate the cartels as a terrorist organization. As of right now, Mexican President Almo says he will not allow any type of U.S. foreign intervention. Uh, the latest updates, we also do have the, the survivors, Eric Williams and, and Latiba McGee. They're still recovering in the Brownsville Hospital. We are expected that they'll be released in the next coming days. But family members are, are both saying that they are suffering a very traumatic experience watching their friends die in Matamoros. All right, Jorge, thank you very much. Mitch, over to you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.